Hello. We're going to be going over. <laughs> we're going to be going over skin folds. Uh, we're just going to be doing the seven site, and I'll go over um, all those first, just to talk about uh, kind of how you're actually going to get the skin fold. So, you're, once you find your site, whatever that's going to be, I'll go over the direct placement stuff. What you're going to do is you're going to pinch up the skin and to do that you don't be afraid to, to really dig in there okay so let's say if I'm doing this chest here I'm going to grab a big portion of this I like to use two hands at first just to make sure I get a lot and I'm going to kind of wait till I'm, so I'm grabbing his muscle right now and I'm going to kind of pinch until the, the muscle goes away and that's how I know I have just skin I'm getting that part up he's really uncomfortable but that's too bad because I want to get a good reading. So once I have that, I'm going to take one hand away. I got a good pinch of skin here. Then I'm taking my calipers here and I get my reading and pull away. So notice when I'm doing that, once I have the skin, I get this. I always want to have it facing to where I can look at this. My watch hand is up, right? So I'm not doing it like this because then I can't see the actual reading on the numbers here. So I always want uh, numbers up. I have my pinch, I go in, pinch, I let go with my thumb, get my reading. I only hold it for about a second because the longer you hold it, the more the skin is going to depress in. Okay? So I get in there, I let go, get my reading real quick, push back on the thumb to release, pull away, and then I pull the skin away. Okay? If I don't do it in that order, what's going to happen is if I let go of his skin, this is still on here, and then I just try to pull it away, it's gonna rip up his skin and he's not gonna be very happy with me. He's already not super thrilled, but I'm pinching him all over, okay? So remember that, that technique. Um, it's kind of a whole process to it. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and start with the chest here. So for men, I'm just going from his shoulder to his nipple, about halfway in between and I'm making that pinch. Okay, for females, it's gonna be a third of the distance and that's to um, get out of the way of breast tissue. So I'll do that again to be more accurate. So looking at his shoulder joint here, nipple about halfway in between. Okay, I'm gonna get that pinch again. Two hands, kind of roll it up. Want some good here. I'm going just below where my thumb is. Get my reading. Ow. Okay. In numbers, that was about eight. Okay. Uh, then he's going to turn around. Okay. We're going to. I'm going to do this subscap here. Okay. This is going to be a diagonal fold. Okay. And so I'm going to find where his subscap is. He can relax now. That's right here, and I'm going just about a couple centimeters below that. I just use, use about a thumb's width here. Okay, and same thing, I'm gonna get my big pinch here, up, get my calipers, and I got a 12. Okay, diagonal folds, there's only a couple diagonal folds, but you always, with the diagonal folds, you want make sure that it's going with the, the way the muscle is going, right? So I pinch this way, so the fold should be going where his muscle is going. Next I'm doing the tricep here. So again, it's gonna be about halfway between the shoulder and elbow here, right about so. Get my good pinch here, just below my thumb, and I got a 13. So turn back around. I'm going to do the mid axillary. Uh, so this is going to be uh, right at the level. Turn this side just a little bit. Go. So his. Uh, Xenoid process here, the 
going right about that level here, mid axillary, so right under his armpit. Same thing, two hands, getting a good hold here. Right under my thumb. 12. Then his superiliac. Okay, so I'm feeling for. Oh, ticklish guy. Big ticklish guy. Big guy. I'm trying to feel for his, his iliac crest. He's also super ripped, so unfortunately it's kind of hard for me. But once I find that, I'm going to go right about here. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Try to make this quick. This is another diagonal fold, so remember I want the fold to be going diagonal with his muscle. So I'm going to pull up real quick. <laughs> Please be still, sir. <laughs> right under my thumb here, and I get an 11. Then I'm going to his abdomen. And this, we just want to find the belly button, and I'm going about one or two centimeters out from that to his right side. Again, I just use just a nice thumb width here. Back to my vertical fold. And 16. Okay. Last one, the thigh. This one you want to make sure that the person is not having any weight in that leg because we want this to be totally relaxed. So he's going to bend a little bit. He's making sure that if he, if I ask him to, he can pick up his leg and he's not going to fall on anything like that. Okay. This one we're going halfway between his inguinal crease here and his knee, his patella. Okay, about halfway, so right about here. Now this one's pretty tricky, because most people, they're gonna have a lot of muscle in their thighs, so this one is important to really, don't be afraid to dig in there to try to get as much skin up as you can. So I'm here, get my fold. And nine. So notice the pattern that, I did this, it's important to that we're going from top to bottom. And then when you would repeat the process, uh, you're doing, you want to do everything in the same order again. It's just to um, be a little more, um, what's the word? Reliable, okay? Um, pay attention to what, everything's gonna be a, a vertical fold, so straight up and down, except the chest, the subscap, and the superiliac. Okay, so if it helps, what what's helped me is to think about where the the muscle is running to. Okay, um, you can see with the chest, his muscles are running this way, but we see that the natural curve down here makes sense to do a diagonal. Same thing, the subscap, kind of a natural curve and super iliac, same thing, natural curve here. Everything else is that vertical fold up and down.